In one of my poems, I wrote, forget about TV for that is more of a social tool than a place for entertainment. And guess what? I didn't even listen to myself because as you know, part of my plan of seven big things I'm achieving, two of them involve TV. That's fine with one of them because that's for me to have my own show because, ah, greatness. But number two is to appear on a TV show that I like. Now, that is becoming far less appealing to me. And I would, I would revert back to the quote I said, the TV really is more of a social tool in today's age. I, I suppose it always has been. It's, um, it's, it's not so much about entertainment, it's more about a message or setting some kind of social example. And I'm definitely not a good example. And I'm finding the whole thing very restrictive and I hate restrictions. It's no longer really about who is the best candidate. It's about who's got the right message, angle, bias, etc. Now this is something that you won't know, but I actually auditioned for the last ever series of Big Brother, which was last year. I did that in secret and believe it or not, ex Big Brother housemate technically, didn't even get an audition. Put out the video, did the whole application form, great, great application form, spent ages doing it. To my normal standard, haven't really changed that much personality wise, didn't even get an interview. I thought, yeah, fine, whatever. I, I had to go for this because I thought, if I don't audition for the last Big Brother, then kind of dozy, thought it might be my time. They didn't even give me an audition, so I thought, well, they're probably just going to have all super connected people as normal. And anyway, it aired and it was full of quote unquote normal people and I refused to watch it because that to me is unacceptable that if you're going to have normal people, quote unquote normal pe people who didn't appear to be connected, but probably were, the, to have them on and me not even get an audition and I know my value, I know my worth, I'm not the greatest person ever for TV, but I know I'm better than a lot of those people. But this isn't bitterness, this is just going to my point. But the truth is about TV and all these things, there are, there's no loyalty out there in the respect that I can be rejected tomorrow if I apply for something, but when I build a big following on YouTube and make successful series on YouTube, TV will suddenly be interested and they will have rejected me before. There's no loyalty when it comes to money and that's fine, it makes sense it is a business, but you have to sort of go via the internet now to bypass the bias because that, that's one great thing about the internet that you can build and you can be technically the wrong person on paper now and you can become the right person through building your own audience because but that's good the only way to win is to go around them and I like that I want to start something new this is the this is the beginning of a whole new whole new style of content a whole new way forwards this isn't joining the queue in the mill run of the mill man this is starting a new, this is a content revolution, this is a whole new way. Now it doesn't mean I'd never um, audition for TV, but I think I'm trying to twist it to my agenda and not feel their agenda, and I probably don't feel their agenda anyway, so nobody's really happy there. And I also feel it sort of uh, conflicts with a lot of my core values towards um, especially freedom, artistic freedom, and compromising yourself for others, and I hate I hate being restricted and uh, also judged, I would say, definitely judged. And also relying too much on other people to give you, uh, to give me their, to give, to give me, no, to give me my worth from other people. Very ago, that took time. But that's good, it gives a, it takes a lot of pressure off my mind. It's, uh, it's interesting, when you free yourself from something you think you should be doing, you get this weird sense of being content. It's strange. You're not, you're not sort of quitting. Because you're doing it for the you are doing it for the right reasons. You're doing it for you. It's not about excuse. You're not doing it because of excuses. You're not doing it because of cynicism. You're doing it purely because it feels right. It's closer to your definition of happiness. You know, it's more in line with my principles. And it's not self doubt. I fully believe in myself. I just don't believe in the system. Anyway, watch this space as I keep building this. TV will soon be knocking on the door. Until then.